Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a laid slide rest in Kitia V5. On the right side you can see the completed design of the laid slide rest with all the different parts being assembled together and in this particular part of the tutorial I'll be showing you how you can design the third part that is the sliding nut in uh, Kitia V5. Alright, now I'll just uh, show you the sliding nut is over here and it comes over here at this particular position so let me just show you how where it comes it comes beneath over here alright now let me open up a new workbench and name it as compound Okay, sorry. Late slide rest. Three space. It's the third part. And go over here. See sliding nut. Sliding nut. Okay. We got a new drawing over here. And come to this drawing, and zoom into the place where you want to draw it. Uh, and another thing, if you want these drawings, you can follow me on my blogspot that is www.catmadeeasy.blogspot.com and uh, I recently started uh, blogging and you can see the uh, you know the post related to this uh, tutorials and the drawings related to that also will be uploaded there you can uh, click on those drawings and download it to your hard disk and uh, refer to it and do it so my subscribers have been asking me to you know um, uh, you know upload such kind of blog for a long time and I just started uploading two days back okay let's just come back to the drawing select this face here click on the front view and create a rectangle and a circle here and trim out these portions and allow symmetry line make it a symmetric and this is of diameter diameter 36 coincidence now this one this particular distance not that okay we need to take care of something else over here now analyze this particular height over here from this center center point of the circle to this particular edge it is at a distance of 19 what else is to be constrained? Just use the cursor. You can see that uh, it still has some defect, I should say. Okay, let me just uh, select this point and this one and give a distance of 19. Okay. Come out of the sketch and do a padding of 28. That means uh, 14 on both sides will do. So I'm doing 14 on both sides because later we need to create a you know circle and you need to pad it so for taking the center it will be easy for us all right now let's just do that step right now itself so that you understand so I'll just click on the sketch see if I had done the uh, padding on one side then I would have not got the center and I'll have to you know again do the dimensioning 
Now that diameter is 20. Come out of the sketch and do a padding of 13. Now, again, select this face, click on create hole, position sketch, and select this hole and select this and go for concentricity so that the point goes and stands with respect to this uh, circle here. Come on, the sketch and give a diameter of 20 and up to next would do and that's it we have designed the sliding nut which is a part of this uh, late slide wrist and uh, let's see how we can design the further parts uh, the remaining parts and uh, that's it for this part of the tutorial if you have any doubts regarding this please feel free to comment on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you and you can also write to me at kitsia.pro.user if you have any doubts or uh, if you have any CAD related uh, queries or any CAD projects and um, alternatively you can uh, follow me on my blog that is uh, www.cadmadeeasy <coughs> c-a-d-m-a-d-e e a s i s y dot blogspot dot com that's it and uh, stay tuned guys thank you so much